615, let's push it on here. It is time to take that check into your forecast, everyone. More first alert weather time. It has been a very mild start out there. Some of you might have already taken that step outside. You're back in. If you did, you're likely feeling a little bit of mugginess and temperatures right around 70. Some just a bit below, but not too much. Still seeing uh, the upper 60s for Winsboro, Sumter, Orangeburg. You go out towards uh, Newberry and Saluda counties. A lot of temps right now around 67, 68. Still 70, though. Columbia, Camden, Lexington. We're not shaking off those temperatures just yet, but we can see things fall a couple degrees over the next hour, but that's going to be about it as we get the mild hair to uh, just more have South Carolina in its grips. It's not going away. Everything consistent here. We get into some storm threats later into Friday as we look onward past some rain chances today and then more sunshine coming. A nice weekend settles in. Here's the severe risk, and this is what we need to discuss. It's not much in the way of rain, not really a typical strong line of storms, but just good winds that are going to be kicking up here. And all in all, with the line that does come through, it looks to weaken as it gets further into the PD. But of course, it's still going to be there. It might not look as menacing on the future cast, but it can produce a couple severe storm cells, just more in the way of uh, just because of the winds in general and an isolated tornado risk. Now, that's not today. That is into your Friday. Today it's just going to be this clouds around some slightly gusty breezes out of the south and west as we go forward into this one, but not much in the way of changes, not much in the way of rain overall. We are going to pick up a little bit later into the, of course, late afternoon, early evening hours, but still take a check. I'll scoot out of the way again. It's just not going to be that impressive. Everything consistently in a lighter sense other than a stray downpour. As we go on into our Friday here, we could actually see a little bit of morning clearing with some good winds out of the south. Now this all comes along with surges of warmth and a little bit more, of course, in the way of that moisture, at least in terms of what you feel in the air, a bit of that bump of the mugginess, of course, increase in convective potential. The ingredients are going to be sprinkled across the state in what we actually need to see with some severe weather production because of what we get with the cold front to come later into the day, and that's right here. So five o'clock, we're still starting to see it move further and towards the upstate, and then it's going to be quickly getting down into the Midlands. It's not going to be a slow moving front. Watch this and the progression. The winds, if you notice some of those numbers really gusty really getting close to 35 40 mile an hour consistent wind gusts at times and as that front moves through of course you'll really notice because those winds will be on the uptick and you'll start to, of course see just some of this storm activity trying to swing in cutting through more of the midlands and then consistently out of here by the time we get to around 10 11 o'clock so the main timing window looks to be for those of you out towards the west around 6 and then consistently around just 9 10 p.m. as we go towards our eastern viewing area punching through to the pd see you later sunshine back at it again going into your weekend it is looking lovely so of course we'll focus more on that in just a bit a quick check on today again school day outlook of course it's going to be a busy Thursday for many more in the way of those mid 70s coming not the biggest need for the umbrella again showers will be around but of course we'll give you a final check at this get you prepped and ready that 10 day is coming your way in a few minutes